today in this educational episode of me, I will be answering two very important questions. And those questions are, one, can you use any radio in an emergency? And B, do you need a license to get help or transmit during an emergency or a shit hit the fan type situation? So let's see what the FCC has to say about these two very important topics. Now, before I begin, allow me to be very clear. I am not a lawyer. I am not an attorney. I am not a paralegal. I am just some random YouTube hobo trying my best to educate and entertain the masses with my edutainment videos. So I am going to read what the FCC says on these two very important matters, and I will give you my interpretation, my non-legal advice of what these rules mean. Notice I said rules, not laws. Congress makes laws. The FCC makes rules. But do not worry, even though I am not an attorney, not a lawyer, not a paralegal, if I get anything wrong, all of the real experts, all of the armchair lawyers, will leave comments to let me know whatever I screwed up. There are going to be two different scenarios in which I will be discussing and going over what the FCC says about those two situations. One is using a radio with or without a license in an emergency situation. The other is using a radio with or without a license in a shit hit the fan, shit hit the fan type situation. I will be reading from my notes so as not to make as many mistakes. So let us see what the FCC has to say about an emergency situation. 47 CFR 97.403, safety of life and protection of property. No provision of these rules prevents the use by an amateur station of any means of radio communication at its disposal to provide essential communication needs in connection with the immediate safety of human life and immediate protection of property when normal communication systems are not available. I interpret this to mean that there is nothing in the FCC rules that prevents an amateur station. Amateur station means a person using radio equipment and notice and notice it does not say anything about a licensed person. Nothing in the rules prevents the use by any person, any means of radio communication at his or her disposal, which I interpret to mean they may use any radio, even a Baofeng UV-5R. There is no mention of requiring a license. So they may use any means of communication at their disposal, to provide essential communication needs in conjunction with the immediate safety of human life and immediate protection of property when normal communication systems are not available, which I interpret in my non-attorney and non-legal advice way to mean to get immediate help to protect life or property when there is no other way to call for help. In other words, if you've got a cell phone, then you have another normal means of communication, meaning you cannot use any radio because you've got your fricking cell phone right there. Assuming you have service, you would not then be able to use whatever radio you want. But wait, there's more. 47 CFR 97.405, which reads, paragraph A, no provision of these rules prevents the use by an amateur station in distress any means at its disposal to attract attention, make known its condition and location, and obtain assistance. And paragraph B, no provision of these rules prevents the use by a station in the exceptional circumstances described in paragraph A of this section, any means of radio communication at its disposal to assist a station in distress. I, in my tiny non-legal mind, interpret that to mean that if a person is in distress, if they're stuck, stranded, there's immediate threat of life and death urgency, they can use any radio they have, no mention of any license required, to get help. And paragraph B says basically that anyone listening can 
transmit, and provide help. No mention of a license or what type of radio they're using. So to recap, my non-legal advice of these FCC rules, not laws, according to the FCC, you can use any radio at your disposal to protect life or property or to call for help if you are in distress in an emergency, even if you do not have a license and using any radio communication means at your disposal if normal communications cell phone, for example, are not available. Normal communications may also mean a regular telephone. It could mean a call box on the side of the freeway. Normal communications, when those are not available. And there must be a legitimate need for help, such as in a distress or emergency situation or to protect life or property. Now, what about a shit hit the fan type situation. In a real shit hit the fan type situation, like when all of the grown-ups get tired of listening to all the woke babies and civil war finally breaks out, or when people start rioting in the streets because someone made mean tweets that they didn't like. In a true shit hit the fan scenario like that, or worse, the question probably shouldn't be, do I need a license? The question should probably be, is anyone going to care? Because in a real shit hit the fan situation, the good men and women of the FCC are going to have much more important things to worry about. For example, taking care of their own families. But remember, as already mentioned in chapter one, according to the FCC, anyone can use any means of communication, communication at their disposal when there is no other option of communication to protect life or property or if they are in distress and need to call for help. Distress does not mean running out of beer, but there is something to consider that is even more important than the rules we discussed in chapters one and chapter two. So now allow me to be serious for a moment, which honestly does feel kind of weird. In a true emergency or a true shit hit the fan situation, Will you know how to use your radio? Do you have a plan? Who are you going to be calling? Are they going to be listening for you? What frequency are you going to use? Is your radio pre-configured to use repeaters if you need to? Or in the heat of the moment, is your plan just to simply pull one of these radios out of the box for the first time ever and dial 911?